God bless you, Lighthouse. Today is day three of our fast, and I am here on this video because I had a dream uh, that I believe the Lord wants to speak to the whole body uh, and not just something that should be shared with, you know, myself and just kept to myself. I spoke to pastor and he agrees. So that's why I am doing this video. I hope that it challenges you and encourages you. So Sunday night into Monday morning, I had a dream that I was a part of a bridal party and I saw a group of people in another room who were also a part of the bridal party. And um, I went over to ask them what time the wedding started because I didn't want to be late and I wanted to make sure I had enough time to get ready. So I asked them, you know, hey guys, do you know what time it starts? I want to make sure I have enough time to get ready. And they would just not give me straight answers. They just kept beating around the bush with it. So I was like, guys, it's not a complicated question. I just want to know what time it starts. So they wouldn't give me a direct answer. And I ended up leaving frustrated. And I told myself, you know what? I'm going to just get ready now. And that way, once the wedding starts, I'll be ready already uh, by the time it starts. So then I was walking to another room, which was the room that I was supposed to get ready in. And when I was entering to the room, I was transported outside. And I didn't know where I was. It felt like a foreign place. And all I could see was people walking by really far away. And all of a sudden I wake up and I'm like, Lord, what, <laughs> what was that about? And is it something that you need me to know from this dream? If so, please reveal it to me. And so when I woke up, I thought to myself, it kind of reminds me of the parable of the 10 virgins or 10 uh, bridesmaids in other translations. Um, and so I was like, all right, Lord, we need to dig deeper in this and you need to <laughs> explain to me what's going on here. So during lunch yesterday, uh, I spent some time with him and I was asking him, to reveal it to me and I opened up Matthew 25 verses 1 through 13 which is where the parable of the 10 virgins or the 10 bridesmaids are found so in the parable there are 10 virgins 10 bridesmaids who have lamps and they have oil for their lamps five of them brought extra oil and the other five only brought enough for the for the moment um, they waited so long that they end up all falling asleep and so they hear a voice say, look, the bridegroom is here. He's coming, you know, wake up. So they all get up and the five who brought the extra oil pours the oil into their lamps. And the other five who didn't bring enough ask them, hey, listen, hook us up. Like y'all, y'all got something that y'all can share with us. And what well, they didn't say it like that, but you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so then the other five is like, nah, we only have enough for us. You're going to have to go out to the store and buy some. So they went outside to buy some oil. And during that time, the bridegroom had locked the doors and was already in the marriage feast. By the time the other five came back, they knocked on the door and the bridegroom opened the door and told them he didn't know them and then locked the, the, the door behind him. So I go back to my dream and I ask the Lord, wow, this is like kind of similar to what my dream was about. Like I start thinking about what it is exactly that God is wanting me to get from it. And one of the major things is or the most obvious thing was stop being worried about my return and just be ready for me. Just stop being concerned with those things and just be ready for me. I am coming back i have said it in my word and there is no time for you to waste and to play games you need to be ready for my return be ready so you don't have to get ready and so i i felt that right away um but then i started thinking about the fact that i was a part of a bridal party and then I was instantly, when I finally decided to get ready, instantly transported outside, just like the five virgins who went out to buy oil because they didn't have enough and were locked out of the marriage feast. And what I'm saying today is, is that 
we are wasting time trying to figure out when or what or how instead of just allowing ourselves to surrender fully to Jesus Christ and, and just let go of things that have no eternal value that we we fuss over so much and we get distracted and waste so much time on those things when God is saying, just give me your full heart and be ready for me because I am coming soon. Tell others about me and stop wasting time about when and where and why or silly arguments about secondary issues. Focus on getting yourselves prepared because I am coming soon. I read a um, commentary by David Gusick is a quote that he um, wrote in the commentary and it says, the thief on the cross was cold towards Jesus and clearly saw his need for Jesus. John was hot towards Jesus and enjoyed a relationship of love, but Judas was lukewarm following Jesus enough to be considered a disciple, yet not giving his heart over to Jesus in fullness. Let us not make that mistake, family. Let us not do it. Because we call ourselves brothers and sisters of Christ, uh, people who are surrendered to Jesus Christ, we have to understand that he has a right to examine our lives. Not only does he have a right to examine our lives, but we should expect his examination. And when he examines us, we have a responsibility to either get rid or correct whatever it is that he found in his inspection. So family, I want to encourage you today, like Mark 13, 33 says, it says, and since you don't know what that time will, when that time will come, be on guard and stay alert.